Thanks for listening to the NVTV podcast, produced by Nequa Media. Welcome to this episode of the NVTV podcast. I'm Rhea Smith. On today's show, we'll be talking about National Women's Healthcare Month. So thank you, Shafa and Tara, for being here today. Yeah, happy to be here. Hi. (laughs) Um, So basically, like, women in healthcare, I know from, like, history, has been very, like, like, debated because people have not, like, respected women a lot. And that's been, like, a historical issue. Yeah, that's, like... A very big issue because what I've been like learning from U.S. history, women have been trying to fight for their rights for like years. It has been such a gradual thing. And even now, like we're still trying to fight for that. But one of the biggest things back in history was definitely health care. But the fact that like women weren't able to do much back then because they would think that they're that they should just stay home and like take care of children at home and stuff like that, then they definitely wouldn't really consider them as, like, doctors or anything. But nowadays, I am I literally have, like, all my doctors are literally women. And yeah. I just feel a lot more comfortable, like, seeing that, like, whole diversity thing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also think there's been a lot of improvement in the past couple of years. Um, obviously, uh, as an athlete, I feel like um, women's health is pretty important because, obviously, we have our own, like, <laughs> our own like problems yeah because yeah. for women our reproductive health is a very like important because for us we can lose our periods pretty easily and obviously um when you're working out on a daily and pushing yourself with physical exertion I feel like um even that risk is even more present and I think recently there's been a lot of improvement in the U- the USA track and field uh program for women so, yeah, I think how they've uh, really monumented on the period health in that sector is shows how we've improved in the past th- uh, couple decades. Yeah, and I definitely think that we've made, like, a lar- large improvement because, like, more women becoming doctors and taking over fields that have typically been dominated by men. I especially, know, like, sciences and, like, even, even like, uh, gyne- gynecologists. Like, a lot of them like, in the past have been men and just controlling women and, like, their bodies, and especially in, like, political debates and stuff. It's been, we've had more of a voice, I feel like women have, and I feel like that's progress, but I feel like we're still kind of far from, like, the finish line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, like, back then, they wouldn't even let women go to school, so they just had to mostly stay home, and they never saw them as, like, actual, like, they they wouldn't let them vote, they wouldn't let them go to school, they wouldn't let them, like, have these, like, like, certain jobs that, like, peop- that, quote-unquote, are made for men. Yeah. If you know what I mean, such as, like, construction and stuff. And doctor is definitely one of them that people would consider back then. So just seeing how, like, so many women back then are easily able to get in, like, schools now, get in colleges. Like, there are so many, like, nurses and doctors that are women. Right. Even men are nurses now, which is mm-hmm. which is great. Yeah. And that's, and that's good because, like, I feel like gender roles especially are changing. And that's, like, for the better because a lot of, like people have like like a lot of men being stay at home dads is like more socially acceptable Mm -hmm. and then a lot of like women being working people has been more socially acceptable and I know like we've understood that in like history classes and also even government classes because um a lot of women are just getting power and notoriety that they deserve Um, yeah Mm -hmm. and I think on the topic of like health specifically like telling women like what to do with their bodies especially has been determined by men and not people who even have a uterus you know Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i'm saying (laughs) it's like (laughs) i just feel like they should like we should let the people who have those problems decide for themselves yes yes decide for themselves because it's their body not yeah and i feel like this (laughs) is a very important (laughs) time and month in history to be able to just appreciate women for who they are and appreciate how Mm -hmm. They have came really far, and um, a lot of women have actually made inventions, and specifically to medicine and health. So they they had so many inventions made by women. It's mm-hmm. crazy. No, because like we like even in school, like in this school, we see so many girls going to like um like trying to plan to go into like medical school or like trying to like do anything with biology, 
like anything like medicine related. Like they're yeah. taking all these classes. They're taking like AP chemistry. They're taking like biology. Yeah. And it's insane. It like, is. Like I just love seeing it's that. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And also, do you have you guys heard about like in biology we learned about like Henrietta Lacks who da- she I think she donated like her cells. I and forgot. then she, th- they found out how to cure cancer. They found out how oh, to cure cancer. Wait, ca- is she the one with like the one tumor that kept on? Yes. Those cells? Yeah. I, I, we, I, I think we learned about that. That may have been an honors. Well, I think it was like an honors biology. That was yeah, honors biology. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I, I remember oh we my had God. the cancer unit. Mm-hmm. Like I remember that cancer unit. And I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I loved learning about that because I love learning about like the different things. Like. It, it's almost like you're in the perspective of, of a doctor. I remember in, like, honors biology, like, my teacher, he would give us, like, these prescriptions of, like, these different, like, fake, they're, they're not real patients, but, like, these patients who, like, have these, like, certain, like, visual symptoms of showing that it's, like, cancer and stuff. And, like, you're able to tell, like, what kind of cancer it is based on, like, their, like, kinds of, um, like, symptoms. And then you would be the one to, like, prescribe it and, like, define, like, okay, you have this kind of cancer. I love doing that kind of stuff like yeah. it's just like what a doctor would do and it feels it, it's so cool yeah it's amazing it is it's super cool and it's it's just like just showing how impactful women's bodies are to be to be able to make these contributions to science but then men just because they find out what to do with those resources that they are given they claim the whole project or they claim mm-hmm. the whole invention i think that personally that's kind of wrong you know mm-hmm. i feel like we should represent like you know we should be able to um have our own credibility and to be able to stand for like our own things um i do think i do think kind of like in medicine too um a lot of women have been like the pay gap has been like even and out it's not perfect Mm -hmm. yeah but it's been like even and out a little bit also like um in medicine like the medical field i feel like women are going into more professions that are more comfortable for them. And yeah. that, in turn, like, makes the entirety of the woman population more comfortable. And they are more open with their medical, um, like, with their medical problems. Like, for example, uh, how you mentioned before how, like, gynecology used to be very male-dominated. Yes. And recently it's become, like, um, like there's been more fem- female doctors and more specialists in that area of the female gender. And I think um, because of that, we're more... Um, open and like able to discuss our problems yeah. versus just keeping them within ourselves and that in turn I think just makes all of us more healthy which is obviously a good thing yeah mm-hmm. and I think just by like keeping us healthy and just like kind of like those like aspects that you mentioned is just more like more of a reason for us to just try to keep things more equal and to kind of just like make like take back our own power that, you know? that's the thing i love it when um i see like doctors who are women and because like if you're a patient you're a woman and you see the doctor's woman like i feel like she would be able to understand a lot more than you because first of all like she probably goes through like some of the stuff that you have based on like your like body as a woman yes. and like she would be able to like give you probably better like prescriptions better medicine because like once i told my dad about like some of my problems you know like some of my like biological problems but that would only apply to a woman and I would, like, tell my dad, being like, okay, I don't really know what to do. And my mom wasn't there. <laughs> so that was kind of really awkward. So I had to, like, talk to my dad about it. And then all he's saying is, like, I don't know. I don't he's know. like, I don't know. <laughs> Call your mom. I'm like, my, she's not here at all. She can't pick up. She's like, and he's like, I have no idea how. Search it up. It would, <laughs> he's yeah. like, that's exactly what yeah. he was like. He was like, uh, I don't exactly know how this works with you. And I'm like, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't exactly know how this get it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and I feel like there are a lot of things that we go through that men just cannot relate to, and they exactly. act like they can. But that's why they can make jokes about it, like about like oh. feminine problems, like periods. They can make jokes about oh, it. Are because you new period? Oh my yeah. god! Like, <laughs> like, 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 stop! But like, like, it's like just annoying. But I just want to credit to all the men who like try to actually learn about the woman's yes. body, and like all doctors who are men who try to learn about it. Like, good for you guys. Yeah, like. Like, go you, you know, you're trying I'm to be very educated. happy that you're trying to sympathize with them. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so good about, about it all. Um, but overall, this is such, like, a good month to embrace and to represent how we've come so far and we continue to hopefully go farther with women's health yes. and with um, just social acceptedness of everything mm-hmm. that they go through. And Oh, um, sorry. Because, Rhea, you want to be, like, you want to be I a doctor. I do. I want to be a doctor. Like, oh, you I do, do too? Uh-huh. Yeah, I plan to be a pharmacist, <sighs> not like a doctor. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. We're all here. Just we're all here <laughs> trying to, like, make Women medicine. In <laughs> <laughs> Women in STEM. Um, That's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Real. I love that. Um, thank you both for being here today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been course. amazing. Yeah. And um, have hope you all have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.